Alright, so they're bumfuck lost trying to find Cayenne. They have no fucking clue where it is. And they're just wandering around. They end up in some forest. They find some river and there's a whole bunch of coconuts nearby. And Kakambo correctly assesses that they cannot go any farther in their current state. And he's like, alright, you know what we should do? We should just fill up this boat right here with coconuts and we should get in the boat and go down the river and trust to Providence. Wait, wait, what? Wait, trust to Providence? Hold on. Hold on. Oh my god. You are you serious? You're just gonna get fucked in the ass again. And that's exactly what happens too. They're going in this boat, right, down the river. Boat explodes, crashes into some rocks. They're getting hit by rocks, hit by some more rocks. Kabam! Kashwam! Is that's not even a legitimate sound effect, but it happens. Anyway, they're going down and they see all of a sudden like this vault of rocks, like a whole, all these rocks up over them. They're like, oh fuck, go, fuck it, go under the water. And they go under the water and they come up and they're still alive for some reason. And they're in this other river and they get out and they're in El Dorado! So, El Dorado is a really fucking sweet place. Like, there's some kids by the side of the road. They're just walking along. They see these kids. And the kids are playing, like, catch with some fucking emeralds and shit. And they go over to the kids and they're like, wait, can we hold your emeralds? And kids are like, whatever. And they just walk away. And the guys are like, whoa, shit, free emeralds. Nice. So they go to this, like, inn to get some food. And they serve them, like, this amazing 8 million course meal with all these, like, parrots in it and shit. And they give uh, all of that to them. And at the end of the meal, Kakambo and Candide assume they gotta pay. And they're like, oh, that's no problem. We got all these emeralds and, like, gold that we found on the ground. And so they put it all on the table and they're like, check this out. And the people who own the place are like, ha! Really? Like, seriously? You can try and pay us with dirt? Off our ground? Yeah, it's dirt to us, because it just fucking, it's everywhere here. Welcome to El Dorado! So, that's pretty sweet. Uh, and they don't have to pay for the meal either. Like, no one gives a shit. Like, a hospitality for all travelers is covered by the state. Like, they just pay for that shit. But, see, I think that they can afford to pay for that shit, because how the fuck are you even going to get into this place? It's surrounded by impassable mountains. The only way to get in is to be a fucking idiot, crash your boat, and then decide, oh, here's a great idea, I will drown myself. So, so I, I bet they don't really get a lot of foot traffic, or, you know, walk-ins or anything. I feel like, I feel like, uh, it's a legitimate proposal to just pay for everybody. But anyway... They go, and they see some old dude who tells them all about El Dorado, and about how sweet it is, and, like, how they don't have problems, and nobody ever leaves, and, like, they only, they all worship the same god, and they all do the same shit, and it's all, like, real happy. Then they go and meet the king, and the king is, like, super witty. He's, like, the ultimate comedian. Kakambo is translating all this shit for Candide, by the way, because Candide doesn't speak, speak the fucking language. But anyway, they hang out there for, like, a month, and then they're like, hmm, you know what? And not enough miserable shit is happening to us, and we've got all this gold why don't we just leave and uh go somewhere else so um they tell the king about it and the king is like wait seriously you got a good thing going right here you guys know that right and they're like yeah but we like being miserable and he's like all right well i guess load up a hundred of our weird looking red sheep with uh you know all the dirt that you want with by which he means gold and we will build you like an incredibly complex robot lever system that will like fling you over the wall with all of the sheep. So they do that and they go over and they leave and so they're going and they're trying to find a city. And they're going to find a city and like five of their sheep die and ten of their sheep die and they're like, oh, you know, it's cool. We still got like a bajillion dollars to buy some kind of kingdom with and then twenty of their sheep die and then thirty of their sheep die and then forty of their sheep die and then fifty of their sheep die and then sixty and then seventy and then eighty and then ninety ninety one, ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight, 90 97, 98 and they have two left by the time they get to this fucking city. I don't even remember what city it is, but it's some fucking Dutch city, and outside they see some slave who got, like, his hand chopped off and his leg chopped off. Great start for your new life of richness and adventure, my friends! But still, they have, like, a ridiculous amount of money on just these two sheep. Like, the, the, the shit that they have is, like, ludicrously valuable. So they go into the city, and they're like, hmm, okay, so Candide's main thing that he wants is just to get Kunigonda back. So he's like, all right, Kakamba, what I want you to do Go to fucking Buenos Aires, try and buy her back or, like, steal her or something, and I will go wait for you in Venice. Sound good? And Kakambo's like, yeah, you got it, buddy. I mean, I, I, will, I will do that for you because I like you. I like you. I like Kakambo. Kakambo's a cool dude. Um, so he leaves, 
And Candide is in the city, and he's like, okay, well, i got to get a boat to Venice. Hey, dude, you want to give me a ride to Venice? And this, like, sleazy dude who happens to have the same name as a publisher that Voltaire hated, which proves, again, how good he is at satirizing motherfuckers. But he sees this dude, and and um, and the sleazy dude is like, yeah, I'll give you a ride to Venice for $10,000. But it's not dollars, it's something else. But Candide is like, yeah, sure. And the guy's like, how about $20,000? And Candide's like, yeah, whatever. And he's like, hmm, how about $30,000? And Candide's like, yeah, like, yeah, whatever, dude, it's fine. I just got, I got, like, infinite money. And the guy's like, intriguing. And so Candide, like, sells some shit, gives the guy 30000 bucks, and then he loads his sheep onto the ship. But before he can get on the ship himself, dude's like, bye, motherfucker! And he gets on his boat, and he, like, speeds away. And Candide's like, God damn it, now I don't have sheep anymore. His pockets are still stuffed with inestimable riches, though, so he's not too poor off. But he has to get, like, a small room on his ship. And he decides that he's, like, real lonely. So what he's going to do is he puts out, like, an ad that's like, hey... Most miserable motherfucker in the city, come see me, and I will give you free room and board and passage on a ship all the way to fucking, uh, uh, wherever, Holland or something, France. And, um, so, all the dudes in the city show up, obviously, because they want free shit, and also because everybody's miserable, as we've already seen. And Candide listens to all these motherfucking stories, he buys them all dinner, and he, like, narrows it down to 20 dudes, and he picks one whose name is Martin, doesn't really pick him so much because he has the most miserable story as he does because uh, he, he the, Martin is a scholar and he feels like he's probably going to be kind of entertaining to talk to on the boat ride. So, he gets on the boat with Martin and they're going and they're talking and uh, Candy's like, yeah, so dude, what's your religion? And, and Martin's like, oh, well, I'm a Manichaean. And Candy's like, you're fucking shitting me. No one's a Manichaean. And, and, and Martin's like, no, dude, totally a Manichaean. And can and you know what Manichaean is? Manichaean is basically just like it was this cult that kind of believed that um, there was an equal amount of like influence over the world from God and then from the devil, so God wasn't really omnipotent. Whatever. I learned about Manichaeans at the same time that I was learning Spanish, so I always kind of think of them as the Manticaeans, like so they're like butter people. Um, I guess they could also be a combination of manta rays and the Achaeans from the Trojan War, but that's completely irrelevant. Anyway, then they see some ships shooting each other. One of them sinks, and it happens to be the ship of the Dutch dude who stole all the Candide sheep. And uh, a sheep comes, like, swimming over, but it doesn't have the treasure on it, but at least it's a sheep, which makes Candide feel a little bit better. And then they get to France, and the rest is a story for another time.